Good morning, Titans. Welcome to TNN. Today, we'll be taking a look at sports, senior night, and angel teams. I'm Diego Pearson, reporting for TNN. I'm here on Zoom with my best friend, Max Vadas. In spite of the pandemic, people have found ways to enjoy their spring break. So, Vadas, what did you do over spring break? I actually worked a lot over spring break. I just got a new job, and they worked me five days. And I worked from three o'clock to closing every night. It was it was a lot. It was fun. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, it's at a it's at a Mexican restaurant called Celinda's. You should go oh. check it out sometime. It's really good. I love it. It's like my favorite Mexican restaurant now. I never eaten there before, and then I went in and I tried it, and it was delicious. Okay, is that all? Yeah. Hey, do you have any other questions for me? No, I'm gonna close it now. Okay. From Zoom, I'm Diego Pearson, reporting for TNN. That seems like a little bit too much work for me, but I think go get the bag. <laughs> yeah, definitely. As a high school junior, I definitely think the money would be a benefit for me, too. I'm Keegan. I'm Jillian. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Congrats to everyone for signing their letters of intent yesterday. As you know, some of our seniors get to play a sport at their college. For everyone playing in, the, in college, your hard work has not gone unnoticed. Congrats, everyone. Seniors, make sure to get your carnival tickets before prices increase on April 26th. Good luck to the football team today against San Juan Hills for the Battle of the Bell. Reagan interviewed my sister, Josie, about how she prepares for a game. Good morning, Sarah. I'm Reagan here in my room with Josie reporting for TNN. You know that soccer star on Tesoro's freshman soccer team? Yeah, that's Josie. She's been killing it in all the games. So, Josie, how have you been preparing for these games to kill it? I'm going to stay hydrated and continue working hard in the practices with my team to prepare for the game again. That's literally a perfect way to prepare, and it's definitely working out for you, I know that. I'm Reagan here in my room with Josie reporting for TNN. They also just won against Sam on Hills yesterday, so they just won league, so congrats to them for that. Yeah, props to all the girls' soccer. I can't even kick a goal. Liv and Charlotte danced their way to vic victory against Dana Hills. Let's see how it went. Hey y'all, it's Liv and I'm here reporting for TNN with Charlotte. We're here uh, over by the dance room. So Charlotte, why don't you tell us about our Dan Hills win on Monday? Uh, started off slow. Um, didn't look like we were about to win, but and then we really picked it up in the second half and came back and won. So. Nice. Well, I'm definitely happy that we were able to do that. I'm Liv here by the dance building reporting for TNN. I always love show, showboating, so that was a great idea, so really just talk smack and get back at the other girls for being very annoying to them. Yeah, those were some pretty good moves too for their victory dance. Zach gave us more information about the upcoming senior night. Let's listen in. From Zoom, I'm Zach reporting for TNN. Tesoro ASB is hosting a senior-only event on the evening of Saturday, May 15th from 7.30 to 10 p.m. on campus. Ticket prices are $40 with the ASB card and $50 without. Prices will increase on April 26th, so purchase early. Visit the senior page and the web store, which is linked in the Canvas homepage, and be sure to have a behavior contract on file, and you will need to initial your understanding of the COVID contract when purchasing. Both forms are attached on the Canvas homepage. From Zoom, I'm Zach reporting for TNN. I had no idea about that event, but that's probably due to the fact that I'm a sophomore. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good idea for all the seniors too, especially for the end of the year. That's all I have for you today, Sora. Now off to Jillian to finish the show. Caroline talked to Cassie about Girls Swim. 
Hi, I'm Caroline Clark. I'm here in Zoom with Cassie Grinstead reporting for TNN. So Cassie, you just had your first swim meet of the season yesterday. How did that go? Yesterday, swim had our first dual meet since the 2019 season. It was very promising for us, and I really think we're on our way to win our seventh straight league championship. We beat Dana Hills, and we got some CIF cuts, and the varsity, JV, and open levels all performed exceptionally well. And I'm really excited to see what's in store for the rest of the season. I'm looking forward to see you guys win league again this year. That is so exciting. Congrats, Cassie, and the rest of the swim team. From Zoom, I'm Caroline Clark reporting for TNN. Yeah, I can cannonball, but that's about it. I know how slow I am, so props to all the swimmers out there. Next up, Keegan went to an Angels game and was almost killed by a trash can. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Keegan Poston, here from my house reporting for TNN. So, over spring break, the Angels had their first homestand with fans since I think it was around September 2019. And I happened to go to one of those games. It was against the Houston Astros. And let me tell you about it. So the Astros cheated in 2016 slash 2017. And they were booze from the start. But it just so happened that one of the fans threw a trash can on the field. We were also playing like we were playing with a balloon inflatable trash can, which is what they cheated with. Trash cans were. And they threw that on the field, all the fans in the right field pavilion, which is where we were sitting. We're just going crazy, and it was a very fun time. And I encourage every one of you guys to go back out to a sporting event now that they are finally starting to open up again. That's all I have for you today, Tesoro. This has been Keegan Poston here from my house, reporting for TNN. Yeah, I saw the trash can getting thrown on TikTok too, and it went viral. So that was pretty wild that you were there. Quick disclaimer, I do not advise anyone doing that because that guy was, in fact, arrested. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, Tesoro. Thanks for tuning in to TNN, your one and only source of Titan news. Have a football Friday.